This is a part travel guide, part travel vlog, part teaching you guys how to take better photos when you're out traveling around the world. Want the haircut? Go to Liz. I'm a celebrity barber. So we're gonna actually go find out the real side of Marseille. Oh, to self in France. This gentleman said in France, all restaurants are closed. Guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome to day two of Marseille. Day two of Marseille. We're heading off to a national park. I think this is going to be where we're going to find that photograph. Uh, it's a four-hour hike. We're also going to be doing a lot of other Marseille things. But yeah, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the trip. So what I'm told is that we need to bring food, water, and good shoes. So first step, we're at the grocery store. This is Le Belle. It's one of the France's supermarkets. Apparently, it's really good. So uh, yeah, food. Food, 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 food. So the bus you need to take is M08. That's the bus that goes straight to the... What's the park called? The Parc National de... Calanc. Calanc. I'll get these words right eventually. <laughs> Okay, you excited again? We're going up the mountains on a bus. It sort of doesn't count. <laughs> okay. So hey, what does Calanc mean anyway? Calanc? Calanc. I think it's just a name. I don't think it means anything. So it doesn't specific. mean like cliff or something, right? Oh, it could. We should look it up. We should Calanc. definitely look that up. I guess that's what Where Google is for. Kelong. I'm gonna eventually remember this. Kelong. Hey Liz. What? All you said you want to go to the beach, right? Yeah. You do the hike, I'll stay on the beach. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> gorgeous. What I'm most happy about this whole thing is this day is probably gonna cost like 15 euros or something because it took four day four, it took four euros to get here and then you know we bought food for seven euros so 11 euros and we go home and then we take, go back to sleep look at those guys they're all in like kayaks and stuff yeah we spoke with the tourism office tourism office said that the original plan we had was definitely not the thing to do and they gave us a new route but it takes this hike is supposed to take roughly around four hours to do we're just right now walking to the uh, first point Bourdain when he was filming in Marseille they're jumping off these cliffs into the water I recognize why this is I'm realizing one, I should have brought hiking shoes. That would have been a good idea. Don't have that. Those took too much space. I should have worn them on the plane instead of my sneakers. Yeah, definitely. That's so good looking. Okay, let's go. I am accidentally recording. All right, ready? Three, two, one, Marseille. Or Clank, I I think we, we can linger for a few, but I think we gotta go pretty quickly here. Yeah, we're trying to get to the big one. This is like the second one here. This is the Port de Min. But we're looking for like the one. This is like the... What, uh, what Pete, someone has told me, the uh, receptionist told me, was that this is the one that's going to blow you away. This, no, no, the next one. one. The next one's going to blow us. But we're actually fighting against time because we have to get back to the main port in order to take the bus back to Marseille. And the last bus is at 6.30. So it's 3 o'clock right now. I think we do it. That sounds like a lot of time. Not to me, but... 
recording. So it looks like there's like not very many international people here. It looks like it's all French people. We seem to be the only people speaking in English. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Doggy! Oh, two doggies. Hello. So I just want to say that when I was researching all this on YouTube, nobody said anything about having to climb super jagged rocks. I think I saw Sam and Joe's video and it didn't make it look so easy. I think we're in a different area. <laughs> we're roughing it. Do you feel it's this way? I, I told you there was an X and then you saw the blue thing and you were like that. Dude, we see little kids doing this. We can do this, do this too. Are you enjoying this whole photography thing? No. <laughs> I hate taking pictures. I wish I, I would rather not. Take it for your mom. One. Do it. You have four legs. You have two. <laughs> oh. They're all chasing after one stick. <laughs> so here's a thought. We could have taken the boats, there's a boat down there, but the fact that we hiked it means we earned the photo. It's a much more meaningful photo. No, I don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it? I don't get it. I think that the, the fact that we hiked this trail and we just discovered that we're not gonna meet our end objective, but you know, this trail itself is bloody beautiful. So we're gonna try to get, make, there's like a cliff over there somewhere. We're gonna hit that and we have to head back because the last, the last bus is at 6.30 and it's already four and it took us two hours to get here. So, oh. sure. we did it. We're here. Good job, Liz. I don't think this is the exact point that we wanted to get to, but I think this is gonna be good enough for today. This is a really cool spot either way. So we're gonna, Activate the drone. Liz, next time we'll get it. Next time we come back here, we're gonna get make it to that point. Oh, for anyone who doesn't know, the main point we're trying to get to is behind this cliff, but it goes way in there, so I don't think we have enough time to make it. We have to head back to the bus. If a good tip would be, if you want plan to come hike here, stay at Calisis, which is, I'm saying that right? Cassis. Cassis, and uh, like stay the night there, because then you can like fully explore this area, and it's a beautiful place, so. But back to Marseille? Back to Marseille. Cool. If we could do anything different, what would we have done? We would have packed our stuff um, at our hostel in Marseille um, and just taken it all the way to Cassis and stayed in Cassis. That's the biggest opportunity there of the day. Yeah, I agree. I think, I think from the photo standpoint, we had a lot of harsh light today. Uh, we had to film midday and we felt rushed. And we actually didn't even make it to our end destination that we wanted to go to, which, because we had to catch the last bus to get back here. So if we could redo this whole thing, I would have, I would have definitely got our stuff, bring it over there, sleep over there tonight, and then we'd head back to Marseille tomorrow and to head off to the next destination. Yeah. So if you're on a budget, I don't know if it would be very cost effective. So look that up because it might be, you know, mucho dinero. Yeah. Uh, these are my shorts that I was wearing earlier this morning. Whoa, that's huge. I, I didn't realize that was that big. It's so big. <laughs> because I tried to jump down from the rocks. And weren't you walking a few more minutes in that before you got to change? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you were wearing boxes. Wait, wait, wait. This is our patio. 
passion fruit beer. Yay, cheers. Yeah. We got cheeses from Switzerland, from France, and I don't know where she said the last one. Cote d'Or. Is it cold? I think it's from Nice, the okay. Nice area. And then our beautiful. Oh, we got bread. Bread. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you. <laughs> this is all me. All you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, this information has been helpful for you, and I guess we're gonna see you guys in the next episode. Okay. Uh, Peace guys, bye.